hello welcome back I'm Tanya from Tanya's witchy kitchen and how are you doing today hmm? 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 yes I am filming these all at once because I actually did my hair for the first time in like four months and uh, <laughs> I don't have time seriously I don't have time so we're just gonna do all the intros da -da 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 at once yes I gotta tell you a story about my, uh, <laughs> my grandson. Well, let's go back to a story about my son first. They're so similar. It's scary. It's crazy scary. And there's how many years apart? My middle one is 17 and my grandson is three. So yeah, that many years apart and so similar. It's scary. When we, we would drive to my mom's house. Okay. And um, you see all these fields of flax and mustard and just different things, okay? And I am not sure which one this was. I don't even know what plant it is, okay? It could be, it's not safflower. What is it? But it's a yellow one, okay? It's, it's, it's a, a, a they, you know, they grow it. It's not wheat. It's a yellow one. I, I think of it as mustard, but I'm not close enough to see it. But anyway. We are driving to my mom's and there's this huge field of all these yellow, it's just solid neon yellow almost. And my son pipes up from the back seat and he goes, oh, Mom, look, all the honey mustard. <laughs> I won't let him forget that one. That's so funny. So funny. Honey mustard. But my grandson came out the other weekend and there were chickens running around. Yeah, we literally free range chickens and um we'll talk about that next in the next video <laughs> and he's my um daughter she's like hey what is that and he goes hey it's a chicken nugget <laughs> i'm sorry like we've had chickens since he's been born and all this time it's a chicken nugget <laughs> I gotta educate my grandkids. <laughs> They're gonna think chocolate milk comes from brown Swiss or something like that. No, but anyway, today we are doing the Bora Bora. Love this soap, love this scent. It got a new look this year, a little tweak. Cause yeah, last year was a surprise. I'll talk about that in the video. So anyway, three things, dream big, be true to you. You are worth it. And let's go check out the summer Bora Bora. And to the soap. And this soap starts out with embeds. Yes, do you remember these the little pineapple embeds we made? I made, I'm going to paint them, okay? Yeah, you can paint them. So I'm using Kermit Green and a little bit, tiny bit of alcohol. Um, I usually get too much alcohol. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> and you just paint them. I was like, I could stick it in there. Nope, nope, he, get, he, gets, he got too much. <laughs> but yeah, literally just use the alcohol as like a water and the powder, like, you know, your little, you know, those old paints that came in the little oval, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You had to wet the paint for a while. <laughs> I don't know if they sell those anymore. But yeah. And so, uh, so it's Kermit Green is that color. And then um, once I am done painting the tops, I'm going to mix a blend of that with the, mm, is it the gold? Kermit Gold Blue Tide and Love of Sunshine. Those are my colors. And then we did Gold Sparkle, Mermaid Blue, Kermit Green, Yellow, Brown, Blueberry. Mm-hmm. Yes, Gold Sparkle. <laughs> but you can paint the micas, the alcohol just basically evaporates and the mica then um, sticks to the soap, which is really cool. Yeah. So that is just a blend of the gold sparkle with the little bit of green that's on the bottom and I just painted them. Literally. Yeah. Baby, 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 pineapples. It's kind of fun to watch. <laughs> It's a different view. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so uh, the Bora Bora is um, same recipe as the watermelon. However, 
However, I'm almost convinced that my dogs are crazy. Yeah. That um, it's not the recipe that accelerates because obviously it did not in the watermelon, you know, either time. But it's the fragrance oil, Bora Bora, that accelerates the soap. Because it just seems like every single time, okay, I've done it three times, three times, and guess what? It speeds up. Like So I took it slow. I was like, okay, we're just going to take this slow. And I had no problems whatsoever with it until I added the fragrance oil. Yeah. The very first time I did this, I just did the basic three, and I kind of a little bit blamed it on the palm oil but after <laughs> blame everything on palm <laughs> is my scapegoat no um <laughs> but I swear it's it's got to be the fragrance oil because once I add that it well and look at that color <laughs> that's the fragrance oil like I have never seen anything like that. And I've seen some weird things. But once you add that, it's it's just crazy how fast it sets up. Oh, I'm making another batch of pineapples for the next batch of Bora Bora. Yeah. Pretty cool. But anyway, um, okay, so we go to Kermit Green. Yes, these are the colors. Kermit Green and Mermaid Blue. Mm -hmm. See, it looks fine now, but it's 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 just oh, I don't know. It's super crazy. And then there's Gold Sparkle, which is going to go on the bottom of the soap. And I don't know. Do you want to watch me pour these again? It's just you just pour them in there. You know, these were a little brighter. Um, because, uh, oh, yellow from Brambleberry, that was the color. Yep, so that's, might be why they were different, just a little brighter color, because the, um, the mica was a different color. I think I did Love of Sunshine last time, and I didn't put a whole lot in there, so, I mean, you know, that's just how it works, and, but yeah, so this one, um, Yellow from Brambleberry. So the second one, which I will show you that the both of the bars at the end, um, the only difference was um, I swapped out Mermaid Blue for Blue Tide, which isn't a big swap out, and Yellow <laughs> from Brambleberry with Love of Sunshine, which there is a little bit of difference, but like the one is more lemony and the other one is more yellowy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if those are words. <laughs> Sorry, but anyway, yeah, it's it like it's already thick, and I haven't even mixed my colors in. Um, and I'm not saying it's it's chunky thick. Like I think last time I did this, it was kind of chunky thick, but I mean it's still so thick. It's not like I could even do a proper, you know, drop swirl because it's so thick. It would probably just stand on the, you know, just stand right there, and there you go. But yeah, it's it's the fragrance oil. <laughs> All the way. This fragrance oil accelerates. Yeah, it does. There's just there's no way, you know, to to say it. I mean, the, you you can't deny this. It 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 accelerates the soap, you know. I mean, not bad, but um the first time I did this, I wasn't prepared for it at all. And so there you go. Um yeah, see? See? You guys, you think I'm nuts. I'm not. I'm telling you. <laughs> but I love this scent. This scent is just great. Um, I'll get the fragrance notes to you at the end. But so basically all I did was I just on this one I made layers. I did layers and I took a hanger swirl to it um I think just up and down. Okay. But that was my thing. I mean, it was so thick. It was like, well, you know, 
you don't always get to do layers where it's thick to where you're not sitting there waiting for them to set up. You know, you've seen me do that. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm impatient. So it just kind of went with this whole, you know, it worked. It worked. But like I said, like, you know, if, if I would have been prepared for it the very first time I made this soap last year, um, you know, I would have been more prepared, but it turned out fine. But yeah, so basically I just did the hanger up and down, up and down. Okay. On this one, the second one, I took the hanger and I just did a swirl through it. Okay. I did more of a swirl and, um, I think I plopped those layers and I didn't like make them specifically straight layers. I just plopped them in. Which, you know, that works too. And then, um, I think I just plopped the rest of this. Oh no, I just randomly plopped this on there. For the top, to play with the top, we gotta decorate the top, you guys. Because we got pineapples to put on the top, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, and just, yeah. Clean up my bowls and did a heavy swirl. A very thick swirl as you can see like it's 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 very set up like super fast I was working fast it's not like I was slow you know Ugh, super fast but I got my little pineapples and my mold is marked across the top you can see the little black notches those are my inch marks for you know where I cut it and I just want to place them carefully in there so they sit in the top of the soap isn't that so neat? Mm-hmm. Yes, it's so neat. <laughs> like, nope, nope, nope. You gotta shift them all, make sure they're all in their spot. And then I did spray it with a little isopropyl alcohol. And I definitely see pop this sucker. Look at him. Don't look at my mask behind it. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's it's, it's really really neat. You can see the the drag marks from the hanger and the pineapples all on top. Super cute, isn't it? Yup. So I got my bees. I didn't, I forgot to tell you this. <laughs> I was so excited. But I did get my bees and um, put them in the hives like right after we got, they got home with them. And um, yeah, like put the queen on a frame, you know, she's in her little queen cage, so we put her, her, her on a, on a in the, I put her on a blank frame, I got smart this year, and so when I go tomorrow to pull her out, um, I'm going to uh, just pull that frame, because she won't be there, and they won't, they have so much other comb to clean up, and um, they won't be drawing comb on that. And so I will just take that frame out. And then we just stuck the bee bus in there. The little container that all the bees came in. And we just literally stuck it in there and closed the hive. And because um, it was windy as heck. And then it's been rainy. And so um, they've, they've, I'm sure they've been busy bees in their hive just going to town. Yeah. So I am so excited. You don't even, can't even understand. I am just so excited. And I'm so excited about these soaps. Aren't they super cute with their little pineapples and the zigzag pattern? And here are the fragrance notes for this. It is very, very mouthwatering uh, fragrance. Here are the soaps just after I cut them. And here they are once they are cured. The one on the right is the one I didn't show you. The one on the left is the one that we, you saw being done. And as always, I hope you had a good time. Thank you for dropping by. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.